Hey y'all, welcome back to A Petty For Your Crops Homestead. I'm Danielle and I guess today I'm going to show you how we made a hay feeder for our goats for little to no money. Not really sure what I'm wearing today, but you know, bear with me. <laughs> Okay, here's what you'll need for this project. First of all, you're gonna need a cattle panel, whatever size you need for your goats. And then you're gonna want two inch screws. You're gonna want a drill with a drill bit that fits your screws, a hammer, some fence staples, which look like you shaped nails, and some two by sixes. Uh, if you can get something wider, that's also good too. And you're gonna need a table saw and some plywood and a pencil to mark with. Okay, for these hay feeders, what you wanna start out with and is the hardest part about making these hay feeders is these two by sixes. If I could have something wider to work with, that would have been the most ideal. But since this is all we had, like I said, we made this stuff for free, which means we use scraps of wood laying around our property in the dirt. So we took these two by sixes and I didn't use any particular slant. So I just did a little bit of an angle on these and I did one at a time, right? I put one on the table saw, I ran it through, I took another one, I lined it up on top of this one, drew a line and cut it the same as the other one. The next thing we did is we went and found a cattle panel that we had lying around. It's bent and it's ugly and yeah, so we took a sawzall with a metal blade and we cut that into the size we were planning on. Then we found a piece of plywood that would fit for the backing. We cut the plywood to the same size as this cattle panel. Then we drilled all the wood parts together. Make sure the angles are both the same. You don't wanna have one really thick up here and then the, on the other side it's on the bottom, right? And then we drilled in the plywood through the back of the two by six on both sides. And we took some fence staples and use those to attach this piece of cattle panel to the two by sixes. After that, it was just a matter of finding a piece of wood that fit on the other side so that this hay wouldn't fall through the bottom. However, this is pretty tight. So if you couldn't find one that would fit on the bottom, I wouldn't worry about it. Last but not least, you wanna secure this really, really, really good to a wall that is sturdy because goats are notorious for jumping on things. They are going to jump up on this and eat it as the footage will show you. That's it for today. I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I will try to answer those for you. We are not professional builders. We are not super exact in all of our measurements, but we build a lot of very functional stuff. And if it works, it works, right? We're not selling it to anybody. We're just making it functional for our goats. And our goats don't mind if we were off a 16th of an inch, do you? Do ya? No, you don't. Thank you for following along. If you liked this video, like and subscribe. We appreciate each and every one of you and we will see you on the next vlog. Bye-bye.